Good morning, my natives. It's a beautiful morning. So, uh, something about the message I spoke about yesterday. Well, I want you to know if anything like this has taken place or in your lives, it, you need to know it's not your fault. You need to know that the divine is not judging you. Okay? This is not about sin, world. It's about love. Understanding. True ascensions. Gaining the wisdom needed. shed these bodies and become the phoenix rising because that's what you are you are phoenix angels my job which is an honor to say the least is to expose the darkness, like I've said. Also, my title could be that of the Angel of Light and the Angel of Death. The Angel of Life and the Angel of alchemy. Now, in another video, I spoke about how I'm going to be dismantling these so-called strong towers that most of the world doesn't even know exists. They would think that that is make-believe. The things that I speak are just a figment of imagination and in fact it's quite the opposite truthfully and it's okay that you can't see it if you don't yet we've all been blinded by the matrix at some point or another in our lives but I assure you, you will all see the truth. And it's abrupt, but it's necessary for everyone to understand what's been happening for such a long time. But it's true freedom, people. It's about freedom. Speaking of freedom, your freedom is being stripped from you every day until now, obviously. But it's been stripped from you every day. Every additional law that is added takes away an additional freedom that you had. And if you look at it and truly open your eyes, you'll see what I'm talking about. If they don't like one way, they will go all the way around in a loophole to create a law that will in fact go against that uh, which was presented in the Constitution of America. Look at it. And they use um, psychiatrists, they use doctors, they use all these uh, people, these associations, even the funeral uh, uh, excuse me, funeral uh, directors associations. They're all tied in. Everyone's involved, including insurance companies and, and everything. Well, look, your freedom is being taken away from you. Or it was. And um, if the divine family and my army hasn't stepped in yet,
We beat a creek without a battle, people. Uh -huh. Trying to go against the current, which seemingly seems like what's happening currently in my life, especially to those that get to see me in this current state. But it's for your benefit, for my benefit, for the world's benefit. It's going to be an, a demonstration of might and power. Um, it has been given to the sons and daughters to stand in this time to stand up against the enemy. Bring the darkness to the light. Those things that were done in the dark. To the light. Dismantle these. Projections and matrix towers that seem. To be. The way to be but. In fact it's. Devastation. Just waiting to happen. Just waiting to explode people. Because the one. That built it. Didn't build it. For a design to keep it going. They built it. To create mass genocide. They didn't look into the future. They looked into a, a timeline. A, a timeline and that's it. They couldn't see past the veil themselves. But now it is time. The veil is torn and the matrix is dismantled. And it shall come to pass. Pass, excuse me, just as I speak. Look, world. Let me give you a, just another example of your freedom being taken away from you. So, you got this COVID, which... Awfully funny, nobody's dying from it anymore. You might say, well, duh! You got your vaccines! I don't think so, people. First of all, vaccines aren't needed. They're not necessary. You gotta ask yourselves, what are they actually putting in your bodies? That answer hasn't yet been completely given to me, but I would think it has to do something with deactivating your, uh, your DNA and causing disease more so than stopping it. I've never had a flu shot in my whole life. And I think maybe twice I caught the so-called flu bug. But then my um, immune system immediately did its job. So It's kind of strange, really, if you truly look at this, folks. What... The world has painted as their portrait for the world to view is this. That man and doctors know more than the divine and the creator. Okay. So. That's exactly what's happened. We have forgotten the divine. We have forgotten our powers, our magic abilities, our miracle creative abilities, whatever you choose to call them, they're the same. We have forgotten them, but it's for a purpose. They, the few want to control the many, then they can't let you know how much power you truly have. Because then they, they can't possess power over you. And speaking of this power and the demonstration of the um, coronavirus that they shouted out across the media, which is nonsense. Just another way to take out more people. Gain more access to more people's financial gains. Yes, you ever wonder what happens to people's money that don't have a will? Some heard it goes to the government. 
What about somebody that forecloses on a home? Did you know that you're supposed you're entitled for a certain amount of time to get that money back? But they don't tell you that. What happens to that money after the home is closed on and the bank gets it? The government gets that money. Now, one house that wouldn't seem like a a big deal, but let's do this across the world, people. Where the same law applies. Whatever. I'm just talking about where I'm living. Currently in America. What's going on here? It's your de design flaw. From the enemy. Everything is designed for you. To fight tooth and nail. To get. When it's already been given to us. Freely. Now I want to tell you something. This coronavirus. Look at what the government done. And look what. Who they used to do it. The police force. Huh? The military. This is just one example of what martial law is going to look like. Or was going to look like. Until this time of exposure has happened. You will all be very grateful. I can assure you of this. Once you find out the plans that your United States government and the world has uh, for you. To imprison the world. And police it much greater, on a grand scale. Your freedoms are gone, people. If it wasn't for the divine to step in, your freedom would have been gone. You need to know this. That is the ultimate design of the enemy. Mass genocide, people. And they'll use technology and robots to do it, if they had a chance. But it's not going to be that way. The divine puts a stop to it. And I am the voice. We are the voice. Will you choose to stand? Up against? Look, this brings me back, thank you, Divine. Back to the, um... Uh, the Constitution. Look, that was laid out. I'm not going to mention on anything on that yet, but look at, look at, basically that was a, a system put into place, which was a heck of a lot better system than what's going on right now. But what they did with that system is they branched out each one of your civil rights and your amendments, and they separated those as well. Then they started making laws uh, that they would attach to each one of those amendments. That would in eventually make the amendments null and void. By way of introducing new laws. By way of government authorities and officials. And police. Listen. There is no reason and will be no reason. Once the dismantling of all weapons come into play. There's no reason. Okay. Now I'm not saying... And everything, people, which, which I don't know the answer to this yet. And it could change. It absolutely could change. You know what I'm waiting for, folks? I'm waiting for that sky to literally be rolled back like a scroll. I had a vision about it. It was torn back as if it was a substance. A tangible substance. A veil. Really, just the sky just literally was torn down the middle. And you can see beyond it. It was amazing. I'm waiting for that day. Something big is coming, people. I don't know the whole story yet, but something massive is about to happen in this world because it has to. Because without it, the world will remain asleep and blinded and, illu and disillusioned by this matrix system that was created and put into place by the enemy. Listen to this 
Scripture. Obey the laws of the land. Obey the laws of the land. Listen to that projection, people. I mean, you can argue it both ways. There can be positive and negative in it when you look at it. But if you look at it from the truth of what the matrix system is truly is, what it truly is, then you'll start to see what law is. Then you may start to resent the fact of law because you're going to see what that law entails. And the end goal of what that law is is not to protect you, but to control you. I know there's some people out there, I'm not alone, that can see what I'm speaking about this current moment. You have to be able to. I'm not the only one. There is judgment. And it begins in the house of the so-called Christians. And the people that have worked these underground secret societies using that name, Jesus. To keep people and uh, or not just Jesus, not just Jesus, but religion, period, to keep people in line, to follow after what man says. When it was already given, there was ten moral codes that were given people. Ten. The Jewish population turned them into over, I think it was 600 and some laws. Look at what the United States, look how many laws there are. Way more than the Jewish people. I can assure you of that. You see the similarity there, folks? Hmm? You say, well, law's there to protect people. You don't need anyone to police you if you are in balance. You don't know, you don't need anyone to do that for you. We are capable of of doing it on our own. Power belongs back to the angels and the people. Back to the chosen, back to the divine's creation. Not to those that are controlling the divine's creation. Do you see this, folks? Now listen, if you choose. I prophesied out of my mouth there will be many, many deaths, or rebirths, or regenerations, or recyclements, whatever you want to call it. There will be many people that will have to go in order for this system to be dismantled. Why, do you ask? Because what I'm speaking now seems crazy to the mass population because of this general projection that's been placed on the world and through the media of news. You have all been blinded. We have all been blinded and asleep at one point in our lives. But it is time to wake up. And the only way that it's going to happen is if there is a massive, I mean a massive, global, scale action that's taken place so that the whole world can see it. Not a little here, not a little there. The world has to see it. And when these Recyclements of your life come and remember, you're not to fear death, for death is another opportunity to start over in your ascensions. Not start over. I don't like that word. To re, not to restart. I don't even like that word. To continue your ascension in a different time, because this one ain't working for you. Or, not only that, your purpose has been served. However you choose to look at it. So. I think that the world might wake up and start looking. When I speak the words and the names that are given to me. Through the divine. And then they start. Um, 
leaving this earth in their bodies. Their bodies are going to go back to the uh, dust, uh, back to the earth. So that is why, so please, if you choose, I want you to not look at me as a monster because of the things that I speak. And these things will come to pass and your minds will be changed about me. I can assure you of this. The divine promises me. That's why I speak the things I do. My name will be cleared. The divine's name, the divine's royal family will be cleared. And those that have been done wrong and that were planted here by the divine will be cleared. No matter what it was. Drug addictions, alcoholisms, violence, fighting, prison, whatever the case is, folks. If you are genuine and if you are vetted, I will know. You will receive a pardon from your king and from the divine royal family. And that pardon is a mercy or an action of love, I guess you would say. Because mercy is more like when someone does you wrong and yet you still show them kindness even though you know they done you wrong. Yeah. So, that's a message from the divine people. You need not forget that you are loved. You are so loved. And you are not going to go to hell and burn for eternity. You just get to start over. Get it right the next time. Something also I wanted you folks to know is the divine royal family does not uh, command or demand praise or worship for that matter. I can't stand that word, worship. You know what that signifies? Worship. The divine family just wants reverence, honor, that they hold. It's a respect. That's it. And it's not even a demand or a command. It's a desire. I command you to love me. That's the first commandment. If you break that, you're going to hell. I want you to listen to what I just said, people. It's as foolish as it sounds. There's no love. There's no demonstration in it of love. You can't command someone to love you. It is a violation and an evasion uh, of, of someone's free will. Think about that. Thank you so much, Divine, for your inspiring words. Thank you. World, I love you. There's much more to come, and I can't wait to receive it and share it with you. It is your king, and until next time, I love you.